If you have a cryptocurrency portfolio, you could be making a full-time passive income by utilizing decentralized finance. Let's hop in. Now, the crypto market has been going wild recently. It's currently worth $1.65 trillion. And when we zoom out and look at the past 90 days for the market, you could see it skyrocketed all the way from $1.3 trillion all the way up to, at its peak, $1.85 trillion. Now, it's seen a little bit of a retracement, making a very good time to get into the cryptocurrency market, in my personal opinion. Once again, that is not financial advice. But my point here is cryptocurrency has been doing good. But the thing is, cryptocurrency is getting to a point where it isn't as volatile, which is also a good thing. But at the same exact time, volatility means that there are higher returns to be made, which means if you buy Bitcoin right now at $40,000, well, if Bitcoin goes to, say, $100,000, you're making a little over a 2x return. But the thing is, Bitcoin is not going to go 10, 20 X or anything like that. Maybe some altcoins will. But then ultimately what's happening is you're throwing your capital in some altcoins that are either going to go to zero or going to go up a ton. And honestly, in my opinion, I don't like taking that amount of risk. Some people do, but I don't. I like to throw my money into high utility tokens that have an actual use case. One of them would be something like Link. Another one would be something like Matic. And there's tons of other assets on this list that I would personally be comfortable investing into because they have a utility behind them and they give holders a reason to hold. But it doesn't stop there. My portfolio is expected to see a 3 to 5x return just based on price appreciation alone. But I've been using the secret strategy to make a full-time passive income and compound those earnings back into my personal portfolio. And today, I'm going to be showcasing that strategy to you. Now, this strategy is made possible through decentralized finance. If you guys don't know what decentralized finance is, at this point in time, I recommend you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, but you also go and watch some of the other videos on this channel to learn more about DeFi and concentrated liquidity pools. But the basis is decentralized finance is a brand new financial system where nobody is in control. It is decentralized. It's right there in the name. Within decentralized finance, there are obviously exchanges. This would be like your Robinhood or even your Fidelity equivalent, but for the crypto market. And anybody can be a market maker. You don't have to go and have, you know, millions or even billions of dollars of capital to be a market maker for specific assets. Anybody, including you and including me, can be a market maker. One example would be this rapid Bitcoin to Matic pool that I'm currently in on the Polygon network. I have about 14000 thousand dollars deployed and granted this can fluctuate because I have exposure to the underlying assets of Matic and Bitcoin when those two assets rise or fall well my position rises and falls but the thing is I have something that isn't going to rise and fall and that is something called unclaimed fees these fees come from market making and providing liquidity whenever a trader executes a trade on this decentralized exchange say they trade Matic for rap Bitcoin well then they are paying me a very small fee but with tons and tons of volume and I'm talking millions if not billions of dollars of volume every single week slash month, those fees start to add up a lot. In the past 24 hours, Uniswap Decentralized Exchange alone has collected roughly $1.5 million in fees, and that's considered relatively slow. Just imagine what this number right here, this $1.56 million is going to be when the crypto market is in full swing and we are seeing 10 to 20% returns every 24 hours for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Matic, and other altcoins. I'm personally thinking that number is going to go 3 to 5x from where it's currently at, basically. But that's besides the the point what we're essentially doing is allowing people to trade their assets and in return we're collecting that very very small fee so the basis of this strategy we're leveraging our already existing crypto portfolio maybe you have a portfolio of bitcoin and ethereum well, you could go and put Bitcoin and Ethereum into a liquidity pool and earn a passive income off of that liquidity pool. And of course, it does have its risk. There is a permanent loss risk. There's also your underlying assets potentially fluctuating. That is something that you need to keep in mind. But ultimately, when you're making returns of 50 to 60% APR in your entire portfolio, that risk is justified, at least in my personal opinion. Now, looking at my current positions, you can see I've deployed roughly $47,600. I currently have roughly $46,500. But when you look at the overall profit loss, you'll see I'm at a $640 profit. Now, why is that? Once again, that goes back to the market making fees that I am earning. As you can see, I have roughly $1714 in market making fees, and then I have a loss of $1,000 for my assets declining. So that's the benefit of having these market making fees and these earnings, because whenever the assets are moving, and that could be going up or be going down, we're making those fees. So what ended up happening to my rapid Bitcoin Domatic position? Well, I deployed $15,000 thousand dollars right that's currently worth shy of fourteen thousand dollars so obviously i have a twelve hundred dollar loss right there but i have eleven hundred dollars in fees ultimately putting me at a sixty dollar loss overall but the thing is that wasn't always like that. That 15K appreciated to 17K at one point. That 17K went back down to 13K. Then it went back up to 14K and it's been all around the board. But the thing is I haven't done a single thing. 
I haven't locked in any profit. I haven't locked in any losses. The reason why is because these are two assets that I truly believe in, two assets that I was already holding in my cryptocurrency portfolio that I plan on holding until the very end of the bull market, and then I'm going to get out. So this is essentially like holding cryptocurrency, but also earning fees, putting our cryptocurrency to work to earn those fees. And if you look at my portfolio right now, it's currently at a 50% APR, which isn't too bad, but it's not where I want it to be. Now, truth be told, I have been moving over the past one to two weeks, which is why you see a new setup here. And that's exactly why my portfolio hasn't been doing as good because I'm not nearly as active. I've structured my portfolio in a manner where I don't have to check up on it. As you can see, all of these positions have been at least one month old. Up until recently, I just entered a brand new position yesterday. So while I was moving, I allowed my portfolio to do its thing, consistently generate this $1,700 in income. And then when I finally got settled in, I've switched things around and I'm starting to get back in the groove and get that 50% APR to potentially 70 or 80%. Now, the other cool thing is if you are kind of concerned about the impermanent loss risk, well, you could do a different type of strategy. And by the way, if you guys do want to learn all about impermanent loss, but mainly Uniswap V3 concentrated liquidity and how you can earn income like I'm currently earning from those market making fees, we do have a Uniswap V3 mini course that is available for the public link down below in the description. Right now, it's only $35. It's an option to pay through credit card or bank transfer, but there's also an option to pay through crypto because we all know and love crypto. Now, as you can see, we've already had over 295 people take advantage of that sale. And the thing is, we are going to be hosting an exclusive webinar to these 295 people pretty soon. We're also going to be giving out a ton of discounts on our future upcoming mini courses like our Solana Yield Farming course. Obviously, that link will be down below in the description. But to talk about that strategy that kind of avoids impermanent loss in a sense, this is something that I have personally implemented into my portfolio as well. Obviously, I have a big portion of my portfolio that's just holding crypto assets. And I also have a big portion of my portfolio that's in decentralized finance. Now, the thing is, I have roughly $15,000 of Ethereum that I've been holding since it was roughly $8,000. I also have roughly six thousand dollars worth of bitcoin that i've been holding since it was roughly three thousand dollars these assets i put up as collateral on a platform called ob this is a lending market i have borrowed against these assets and i have essentially borrowed a stable coin called usdc usdc stays at one dollar obviously it does fluctuate maybe 99 cents maybe a dollar and one cent but it can always be redeemed from circle which are the guys behind it for one us dollar because there is one us dollar in the bank for every one usdc in circulation now, the thing is, I'm currently paying an APY of roughly 6% to borrow this USDC. But ultimately, over here, you could see on some of these stablecoin positions, I'm getting anywhere from 13% all the way up to 23%. And once again, I do plan on rebalancing this aspect of the portfolio because this is the stablecoin aspect. And at one point in time, this was doing an overall 30% annualized yield, which is really, really good. Now, when you take out the stablecoin portfolio, you could see that my overall DeFi positions are doing 72% overall, which is really, really good. Good. This just goes to show I have Rat Bitcoin, Matic, Soul, and another asset that I'm not going to disclose, and two different concentrated liquidity pools. So that's four assets total that I'm already holding in my wallet, earning roughly 70% per year on it. And I do want to give you some quick alpha and tell you how you can actually find these pools to earn passive income. So we use a calculator called Builder Metrics. And full disclaimer, this is our in house calculator. We built this, right? Uh, but we've built it to be a tool that we personally use, and it is 100% free for you to use. But I head over to the pools page and I like to look at the arbitrary network network, the optimism network and the polygon network. The reason why is because well, number one, these networks are doing really, really well. But number two, you don't have to pay the absurd gas fees like you would on the Ethereum network being roughly 20 to $50 per transaction. Now let's take a look at ETH to USDC. I just want to show you the possibility behind one of these concentrated liquidity pools. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my range. And this is another thing that we show you how to do in the concentrated liquidity course that we offered, which is down below in the description. But let's say I put my max price at 2900, maybe because I'm a little bit bullish on ETH, but I do think it can retrace a little bit more in the short term. I'll go ahead and put my min price at roughly 2050. This is ultimately going to give me the majority of my exposure in Ethereum at the very start. So about 60% Ethereum and about 40% USDC. Now, as you can see, this is earning me a 55% APR. Now that's a buck 50 a day. A buck 50 a day is not a lot, but when you put it in perspective, that's $15 per day when you're deploying $10,000. Or if you're deploying $100,000, you're earning $150 per day. So as your ETH is rising, you're making money from your ETH rising, but you're also making this $150 per day, which obviously is 
is going to fluctuate because it is a real business model and it is based off of people trading and different trading volumes. But you can take this 150 bucks per day and you can constantly buy more and more ETH so you're building a bag of ETH for free. Or if you really want to, instead of buying ETH, you can go buy riskier assets that do have the potential to go five to 10X and ultimately carry your portfolio in the next bull run. There's a million different things that you can do, but by creating a diversified DeFi passive income portfolio, earning anywhere from 60 to 80% APR on it, that is the gold right there. Because you could take that 60 to 80% APR, compound it back into your liquidity positions, earn more money, but also earn more money when those assets appreciate. So it's a win-win scenario because you're earning more money from that APR coming into play because you have a higher capital amount, obviously, but you're also earning more money when those underlying assets rise because you deployed more of those underlying assets. You essentially bought those assets without actually having to pay for them because you earn that for free by being in a concentrated liquidity pool. Now, lastly, I want to mention if you do end up joining the Uniswap V3 mini course and you actually like what you see and you are actually serious about taking DeFi further, I recommend you go into this mini course information page and then hit book a call. Here, you're going to be able to fill out an application, potentially work one-on-one -on -one with myself or join our DeFi Accelerator program where we help individuals build out a DeFi passive income portfolio through our proprietary five-week program. Yes, that means you're going to have a fully functioning DeFi passive income portfolio tailored to you. It's not copy and paste, earning a 60 to 80% APR on average. But I will say this, we're not going to be upset if you decide not to proceed further with the DeFi Accelerator program and you just want to learn more about the Uniswap V3 concentrated liquidity pools. That's exactly why we made it $35. So that way you can take in all the information, decide if you actually think this is something you want to include in your portfolio. And if it is, you could try it out. If it isn't, you could part ways. Or if you really want to take things further, you can potentially work with us. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe notification is turned on. Also, let me know down below in the comment section what content you want to see and what positions you want me to post about and potentially deploy my capital into it. I'll see you guys later and peace out.